to hell, he just takes you home because there's no reason for you to be here. See, you need to understand you're here to do his will. If you're not going to do his will, then he will just automatically just take you out. And what's happening is since 2012, the shift began and the father started shifting things around and shifting men and women just taking them home because their assignment was over. Isn't that interesting? And so I'm grateful to be here because maybe there's something left inside of me. So I do not take this lightly. And there is a, the shift has begun, but now there's a cleansing of the body to get ready for the moving that God is about to do. And God is setting up his kingdom in the lives of the church today. Now the church has been the place that for the last 20 plus years, she has allowed a lot of negative influences in. She has been on the front page of uh, Christendom and the accuser of the brothers has been before the father telling him about the destruction that those who call themselves Christian leaders, what they're doing. There are leaders who allow their sins to be stronger than their God. Now, sin is a very powerful thing. Once you, once you begin to do the sin, then you lose your personality and you, be, you become known as the sin you commit. And the sin is so powerful. Here, here's what I want you to know. The sins that the Father created has a lot of power. And only God can destroy the sin out of your life. Now here you are, a Christian leader who has one of the most powerful sins dominating you and you don't have the authority or the power to break it so you are a Christian leader who is practicing and being led by the sin that you have opened yourself up to and so now you are known as a murder 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 ER that makes it personal the ER you see doing murder and becoming a murderer is you are you are a foreigner cater the OR makes it personal and now you have a new name and the new name is the name of the sin. And when people talk about you, they talk about the sin that you committed against them. Oh, Lord, somebody help me here. And it's so powerful to the point you can't stop it. And you will sit and say, I quit in yourself. You will say, I'm not going to do it anymore in yourself. But you don't understand that it is going to take something greater than self to destroy the ER that's in your life or the OR. You, 
you, you, you, you will understand that you will do it in the secret place. You would do it in the dark. You see, the reason why people do sin in the dark because they don't want nobody to know that they are the E-R or the O-R. So they will try to do it in a place where nobody can see, but God can see in the dark as well as in the light. And so man may not be able to see you in the dark, but the Father who sees in the dark will one day reveal what you do in the dark, in the light, so all can see it. Somebody help me here. So you need to recognize and realize that God is going to raise up a brand new breed of people that nobody knows who are not called by anything other than what he called them to be. People who are willing to get rid of all the ORs and the ERs out of their lives so that they can become what God wants to demonstrate in the kingdom. You see, you and I like power. We like prophecy. But what God wants is a clean vessel. You see, the devil can prophesy and he has power. But do you have a heart that's pure? that God can demonstrate his kingdom through. Can you have, can you be the person that God will allow to stand and give first choice to? Okay, Abram, you're going to tell Lot you have first choice, knowing on the right hand the grass is green and on the left hand there is no grass. And you know the lower nature of Lot's going to pick the green grass. But what Lot doesn't know, green grass have Sodom and Gomorrah. The brown grass, the no grass have God. My, 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 my. And so when Abram begins to negotiate with God about sparing Sodom and Gomorrah, he just knew that his nephew had enough people working for him. Somebody help me. Abraham had 318 people. Well, how many people did Lot have working with him that he was influencing enough to be able to spare the city? And Abraham said, or Abraham said, uh, 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 if there's 50, God said, no, 40, no. He went all the way down and he said, if there's 10, God said, there ain't even 10 people that will allow me to save that city. And I can imagine Abram was probably distraught because he knew his nephew was living there for quite some time who had a family, but although he was living there and he had great uh, people working for him, his influence did not affect the community. I submit to you that maybe God wants to see if you can influence those who are closest to you. But if there's nothing inside of you, if there's nothing in your heart, and if God hasn't cleansed you from within, then there is no power, my God, somebody help me here. You see, there is no power to demonstrate the kingdom of God. Now, I'm not talking about the power to heal somebody else. I'm talking about the power to save your own soul. I'm talking about do you have the innate ability of the kingdom of God, the righteousness, the peace, and the joy? Do you not know that every battle that you go through, there is peace already yours? Do you not know when the enemy is fighting you mentally that the peace is already yours? Do you not know that whatever you're going through, that God has already given you the joy of the Lord, which is your strength? Come on, somebody. So if you don't understand the three commodities that make up the kingdom, if they're not inside of you, to give you the victory, how can God use you effectively if you don't have the main ingredients that it takes in order for you to be used? My God, my God, my God. Somebody shout with me here today. So you need to recognize and realize that the Father is looking for those who's willing to say to sin, 
here's what God has allowed to happen. He has allowed that sin, whichever one it is, to stand before him, and they're standing up side by side. And, 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 and there are times the sin tells you what to do and you do it. There are times the Father tells you what to do and you do it. And sometimes the sin has more power than your God. You see, you don't understand that your Father gave that sin that you have inside of you the power to operate. Because sin with no power really don't have no ability to do anything inside of you. If sin did not have all the power that it has, then it really has no ability to control your life. So when God created the sin, he gave it power and authority. But what he wants you to understand that he controls the sin if you're willing to bow down and serve him. But the problem is you're trying to fight the sin standing up. When you ought to bow down to God, you're standing up in your flesh and your flesh don't have the victory. Only the spirit man inside of you have the victory. Somebody help me here. And so your flesh, because it's cocky and prideful, it will make you think it can do it. But the sin loves your flesh because it cannot win the battle. Hello, somebody. That is why you have to humble yourself and go down and allow the spirit of God to lead you and guide you out of this because your flesh will only get you deeper. Now that you are trying to come out of it, then what the enemy of sin will do is go get one of his other buttons. Buddies. And you started off with one O-R or E-R, and now you got two or three. Oh, somebody help me here. Somebody help me here. And now you don't understand there was a time you just lied, but now you're stealing. There was a time you lied and you stole, and now you're doing something even more. You have become a liar, a stealer, and, and something else. And now the whole mindset of the sin is to create itself as the number one God in your life. It wants you to believe that you cannot quit doing what it demands you to do. It wants you to believe that it has all power over you. It wants you to believe that it has all authority over you. So now you are saying, you, you open up your mouth in something called prayer, and you say in the flesh what you're going to do, but your flesh cannot help you because your flesh is under the dominance of the ER or the OR that's in your life. See, the spirit world needs a body to in, in order to, to do what it's going to do. You can't be a fornicator and you ain't got nobody to fornicate with. Oh, somebody help me here. What's a fornicator who ain't fornicating? And in order to fornicate, you need another body. So you need to understand if you are fornicated, then the spirit of fornication is going to find another fornicator, and the two of y'all going to fornicate, and the spirit of fornication and the two of y'all going to make y'all think y'all all right because it wants to control your life till it... I wish I knew what I was talking about here. And so now... Uh, 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 it's going to tell you, you can get you two or three of them, <clears throat> and the spirit of fornication will give you authority and power to operate in the flesh until it destroys your body. <coughs> you go to the doctor and he says, cancer. And why is it cancer on that particular part of your life? Because you have committed fornication. And the judgment of fornication is the sin that you produce and the sin brings for death because something has to kill you. So now you've opened the door for the sin to come, which is going to be the thing that destroys you. Sometimes God will give you a sin that will give you time to straighten out. But sometimes you don't even want to straighten out with the, when, when the sin comes on your life. My God, I wish I could stay, but I have to go. But would you lift your hands for a moment? Tell God, thank you. <clears throat> Sister Lisa is coming, and she's going to do whatever she's going to do. But I just want to give God the praise the honor and the glory for 40 years. I don't need any of that. 40 years. Somebody say 40 years. My God, that's right, 40 years. Here, put this in the, in the, in the, in the, in the well, bring the bag. 
I'm going to the BOK radio station. I got one at 9 o'clock to do it. I got one at um, 2.30.